My fourth month in Lost Relics is complete and I have never, never had a month with this many legendaries. More than one per day, 10 of them, 11 actually, being blockchain legendary items. It has been crazy, completely crazy. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through how has my fourth month been in Lost Relic? What have I earned? What is my account status? How much moolah do I have? How do you transfer items out of the game if you want to sell them? I have so many items now, I am, according to the account status in the game, in Lost Relics after full month, I am, I'm, I'm loaded. I, in my, in my game account, in my online account, I have value in my engine items for more than 40,000 engine right now. This is based on what these items are listed for right now, more than 40,000. 40,000 engine, so I'm rich. I'm rich, like uh, $17,000, but I'm broke. Ah, I'm broke, how can that be? This is just a quick overview of my blockchain items. We're gonna go a lot nitty gritty into this stuff, guys. It's gonna be a pretty long video because four months of gaming, a lot of stuff going on. Like I said before, mainly been getting virtual legendary items, but more than one per day. If you want to transfer items out of the game, you need to go to the blockchain items page on the lostrelics.io website. You have a transfer button. When you hit that, you can see all your blockchain items and you can select how many of those do you want to move out of the game to your wallet so that you can sell them to other players. If I select everything I have and I prepare the transfer, it will tell me how many transfer crystals I need. 2,000 of those. These are roughly 30 cents each. Uh, you need to buy them from the game creator or from other players for about 800 gold each. And a transfer can only be made when the gas transfer fee in the Ethereum network is 50 guay or less. And the amount of transfer crystals you need depend on this gas fee. So this is pretty much how you pay the gas fee. Look at this, I'm moving one item out and it is costing me 36 transfer crystals. So I'm not actually doing it, but that is what it would cost. If I move more than 100 of the same item out of the game, the transfer fee, quite interestingly, is going to be exactly the same 36 transfer crystals. This is because transferring things on the Ethereum network is based on one asset, not how many of them. So once again, transfer in bulk if you want things out of the game and you want to sell them. So anyway guys, that was pretty much like covering that part of it. How do you get items out of the game? But now we're gonna go into the nitty gritty stuff. Did you see that gold oak I got before? It took me 10 days of grinding roughly 10 hours per day to get my first one. These are my virtual items, all the non-blockchain items I have in the game. And I've been raking in stuff, I've been stashing up, I've been spending my gold buying random junk items because we have a massive update coming for Lost Relics where I have a feeling I may be needing some of these items for new crafting skills or even for the bounty system that is going to be coming. So hopefully we're going to have so much to talk about in regards to Lost Relic once that lands. So just sharing a few of my drafts here in the background as we move into, well, one of the things I do like to share every now and then as well. How is my account looking? Level 79, so not, not 80 yet. 58 on fishing, really wanted to hit level 80 and level 60 on fishing, but I didn't manage to do that. These are the titles I have earned in the game for being a good fisherman, for taking part in events. And right now, my my amulet, my pendant, my membership just ran out. I should have been making this, this video tomorrow, but because my, pen, my pendant ran out, I figured, all right, let's just do it today. The eighth highest player based on total level, so nowhere near like the top players, but pretty comfy in regards to having put in a lot of time, a lot of grind into the game. So staying in the top 10, not really a goal for me as such, but it feels kind of good to know that I have been bashing like crazy in regards to skills, my gathering, my production skills, the second highest player in the game, and just including at least the top 10 for you here for a bit of a snatch up who is doing what? Gatherers, 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 farming. That's me again on number two, Howling Duck, the crazy pants mad as number one and the top 10 for you. This is the combined levels of fishing, mining, scavenging and wood cutting. So the skills you can use to get resources in the game, top fisher in the world. Again, I was actually thinking that Sleeping Ula would be, would be taking this. I also thought Binary Boy would be doing it at some point, but apparently not, especially because I have been in the woods 
where we don't really get a lot of fish. So down here on mining, as you can see, not big on mining, 18 scavenging somewhere up there as well. So that is pretty cool, fun and amazing. My goal for this month's what month was actually to be level 60 in these different things because then you get the master title and I was hoping with the new patch we would get new resources for master gathering in regards to producer I'm number one once again meaning that when you combine engineering and alchemy I have the highest level in regards to engineering I'm pretty low I gained a little bit this month but not much because I I actually put roughly a million experience points more into alchemy reaching level 44 uh, and I'm not entirely sure where I want to be putting my eggs in regards to do we get new skills around the corner. Look at that there, the mysterious nest. That is what this month has been about, trying to get that and get a mythic item out of it. The best I got was this Wrath Crown egg, so nowhere near what I was hoping for. But it's a, it's a pretty rare legendary tier blockchain item that currently has no use, but still kind of cool. Getting loads of demonaria for my alchemy full of legendary potion that nobody can use for anything right now. So let's dig into the stats guys. This is my spreadsheet. Once again, take in every item that I have. I have listed it. What is its name? How many do I have? What's the rarity? What is it listed for sale value wise now? What is the engine value, the reserve value, all that kind of stuff. You guys know it from my previous videos. And I have of course calculated what is the total value of my uh, my item stash for like how many abrasive paper do I have multiplied by the listing price what is my total amount of these worth how many do I have how much percentage of the total supply of this item is it and we're going to be geeking a little bit into this stuff it's going to be a bit more snappy than previous because I have so many items I added a new column which is an engine change one month so it has this item seen an increase or decrease in engine cell value this month compared to the last one. Important to note is that the engine value compared to US dollar fiat is almost tripled compared to last two, although most items have the same value. My 4,700 and more blockchain items are selling for roughly the same per item as they did last month. But if you turn it into US dollars, it's more. It's like three times more than it would be last month. And another thing worth noting is that the, the, the Ethereum fee is crazy, so not a lot of sales going on right now. These are my common items, more than 3,000 common items right now valued at $2,700. If, like, if anybody wanted to buy them, because in order to buy a $1 item, you often need to pay $100 worth in Ethereum fees, which is why there is very little movement on the engine market right now. So I'm rich. I have like almost $17,000 in value, but nobody's gonna buy it because it's gonna be so expensive to actually buy these items. It's gonna cost more in fees than the actual item sells for. So a few adjustments, as you can see, the bubble bomb that was part of the Christmas event is decreased in value dramatically because you can buy it for five bucks on the website right now. So these are my rare items. We have the uncommon ones before, 782 rare blockchain items. Right now, based on the US dollar fiat to engine value, $4,400. Some minor adjustments. The big adjustments are really in relation to skins, event skins where interest is kind of going up and down and a little bit in regards to heads that also don't really have that much of a value, but the rare, like mythic and legendary tier of, of, of pets are selling pretty decently, but a lot of the low tier ones and the ones with the infinite supply, nothing really going on. So a few adjustments, but nothing really because it is also so expensive to list an item now that nobody's really doing it. 105 epic items worth $2,500. And again, we see a few adjustments. So this is worth noting guys, if you had an item listed for sale like three months ago, you're not gonna move it away now because you don't get your listing fee back on the engine network. So whatever Ethereum and engine you pay to list it is not gonna come back. So a lot of the items that are listed right now are old items that nobody bought. Another interesting one here, my legendary items, 46 legendary items worth $6,200 right now. And these are the items that are most likely to actually sell because they represent a high single item value. So people are going to be like interested in actually paying a high fee to get these Santa Slay, Gold Oak, Gradient Pumpkin. These are things 
people want, need and can use and where it is actually worth it to pay that extra fee to get a very like high tier limited item. So these are like the most realistic things to sell for me right now. So uh, again, a few adjustments, Wrath Crown Egg increased in price, uh, the Santa Slate decreased a little bit. And of course I have my mythic tiers, my Snowball, Snowfall and Snowflake cosmetics and pets that I bought during Christmas because I always kind of wanted these and they are valued higher in engine than they're actually selling for on the website. So that's a bit weird, but again, nobody really listing stuff right now except very high tier things. So this is what I have, 3,797 uncommon items worth 974 items last month compared to 3,800 worth a lot more this month. This is comparing December to January, 647 rares, $1,300 compared to 782 for 41. So as you can see, I have gained a total roughly 200 blockchain items this month. So playing roughly like 25 days, 10 hours a day, give or take, getting around 200 blockchain items, 11, 12 of them legendary actually. So I've been gaining a lot of blockchain items every day. I've also been using some for engineering, but I've also been gaining some from engineering. So that kind of like evens out the battlefield a little bit there. So this is comparing last month with this month. How much more have I gained in the different categories and how have the prices fluctuated? Now we can look a little bit more into also what do I have the most of? What are my highest value things? So like so many things we can nitty gritty geek into when we have so much gaming. So if we look at the supply, where do I have the highest supply? Radiant Pumpkin, Purple Ever Mushroom. These were like these are the items where I have the largest part of the supply pile. So I have a big portion of it and it then just goes down to some of the pretty interesting high value items I actually have a great deal of. Interesting high value. We're talking legendary tier, but still the most like highest valued items in regards to my total amount and the price. Again, Gradient Pumpkin, Gold Oak, Purple Iron Mushroom. So the legendary items I have been able to farm with my gathering skills are the things I have that are worth the most. So if you're gonna be playing, go for those skills because they are the interesting ones. Highest single dollar, like engine valued items, Snowflake, Mark of the True, Snowfall. Uh, Snowfall as a pet is gonna see a huge adjustment, but that is it. And quantity wise, what do I have the most of? My largest pile is Nightwood because even though I've been spending a month bashing trees right now, I did it before as well, a great deal. Unfortunately, without being able to uh, get anything really cool out of it, but that is like how you progress in the game. It's a grind, oh yes, it is. So guys, this is pretty much like my status on blockchain items. I have hoarded in a lot more value, also a lot more, like both in terms of quantity, but also quality in that I have gold oak being a resource you need to actually make legendary uh, level 40 tier gathering tools. If you want a fishing rod, if you want a, a pickaxe for level 40 and up, you need this blockchain resource. There are roughly 500 in supply of them and I have 10. I don't really need them. I just want, I just want the mysterious nest because I would like to try to actually get a mythic tier item in the game. That is like, I've never tried that. So I want to do it, but I don't want to buy the item worth one and a half million because I feel every gold I don't spend on resources for a crafting skill right now is gold that I'm wasting because I feel being a high tier crafter is going to be a lot more worth it in the long run than having a weapon that might as well drop or that I haven't really needed in the game because I've actually like, completed all maps multiple times without having a mythic weapon. So it would be nice to have but I, I am leaning towards perhaps I would rather buy it than farm for it. Just showing you guys here a run where I actually got four rare blockchain items. So it still happens. We do get a lot of randomness in the game. Sometimes you can play five hours, get nothing. Sometimes you actually get like five or four completely awesome rare tier blockchain items in a single run like what I'm showing you guys here. So a lot of cool fun and amazing stuff has been going on, even though everybody has really just been 
like uh, holding on for the, the update that is right around the corner with bounties and like we don't really know what's coming but it's huge so everybody's waiting for it super exciting so much is gonna be shared once it gets here so that is one cool thing another thing that actually happened this much which is like pretty interesting is that we had a system message that a generous player had donated uh, criminal katanas and longbows to the pool um, and these were the items you were getting all the time along with other uncommon items like two three six times per run there we have it uh, so it was very interesting that a player has given back roughly 150 uncommon items to the item pools and what happened immediately after was that everybody was looting these items just as when i started the game where you couldn't go into a map without coming out with multiple blockchain items and like new players were upgrading their accounts like crazy to hold out all the loot they were getting so very cool very fun reminded me of when i started playing where we got a lot of uh, of quantity in terms of loot and it, it felt a little bit more alive and what i hope this really means is that somebody helped out cliff the developer to test the bounty system so that uh, this is like a live test somebody put in items they got some kind of reward and things have been added back into the loot pool i don't know but anyway guys remember play lost relics lostrelics.io for fun for the community for like taking part in an amazing early access game not for money because like you never know what you're gonna be getting just have a good time chillax and be freaking awesome join the community and put it down there in the comments do you know anything cool fun amazing about the game do you want to see specific guides then i will try to make them in the future for now guys thank you very much and very much for watching.